Yo, it is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be going over each and every one of the new Dunktober cards that did come out and did get released in NBA 2K22, my team today, including new Pink Diamond Lock-In, Oscar Robertson, Pink Diamonds, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Vince Carter. Got Diamond, Jokic, Kobe, Dirk, and then Amethyst, Josh Smith, Donovan Mitchell, Dennis Schroeder, and then some rubies and some budget ballers down below. Now, before we dive any further today, if you are new to the channel and have not yet, Please consider smash that subscribe buddies. We're on the road at 280,000 subscribers. So starting with Isaiah Ryder, a season one reward. Should be a free card. I don't know exactly how you're going to be able to get him. Uh, 83 three ball, 90 driving deck, 86 ball handle, 80 speed ball, 84 speed acceleration, 83 lateral quickness. Let me tell you guys something about this Emerald Isaiah Ryder. You might not think he's the best card in the game. And you know what? I'm going to agree with you. But I will say Isaiah Ryder is very good. He's got LeBron base, which on next gen definitely is not bad. Pretty solid tendencies. 83 three ball, like I said, a good driving dunk. He can handle the ball. I'll tell you guys this right now. If there's ever a time for like limited, for example, in which you need to use an Emerald player, Isaiah Ryder is a very solid player for that Emerald tier. Now, overall at the shooting guard position, is he a top shooting guard in the game? I wouldn't necessarily say that, but compare his stats to some stats like Jason Richardson. Yes, his defense leaves a lot to be desired. Maybe badge-wise isn't great, but Isaiah Ryder for an, for an Emerald is absolutely incredible. Next up, we look at, we're going to look at Josh Giddy here. Sapphire shooting guard, small forward at 6'8", 7-foot wingspan. So we're going to start off with Josh with the 76 three-ball, 84 speed acceleration, 80 driving dunk, 79 lateral quickness, good enough playmaker, okay? You see the playmaking badges, and that's what he's going to do best. Doesn't come with quick first step, but it can be applied to him. Obviously, no shooting badges. It's really going to come down to his release, and he does have the Jason Kidd release. I get it. It's on quick. That's going to make him struggle a little bit. Jason Williams' uh, signature combo, which I'm not sure what it is. Katie's size up, which obviously is okay. It's solid. I'm not a massive fan of Josh Giddy because of the Jason Kidd release and a low three ball, as well as not being good on the defensive end of the court. He's tall. He's going to give you a good playmaking ability. Just not the biggest fan of the card. Horton Tucker up next is interesting, right? 6'4", but we know Horton Tucker has always had a super long wingspan, 7'1 wingspan, small forward shooting guard, hot spot from that right slot, eight, uh, eight gold badges, 18 on silver, 78 three ball, 75 driving dunk, can't really handle the ball, decent speed, decent lateral quickness. This Horton Tucker card stinks, guys. I'm not trying to hate on the card, but he doesn't do anything on the court well. And I, I'm not trying to hate on him. I'm not trying to say anything bad. He does have the Oscar base on quick, which will be intriguing to see what it's like, what it looks like. This card stinks. Not one of the budget ballers that I'm very interested to get. Taylor Orton Tucker, he's fine. Cam Reddish. Now we're going to talk about somebody that I think could be absolutely incredible in the game. He's only a Sapphire, but he is 6'8", 7 foot wingspan, 4 gold badgers, 17 on silver, 4 on bronze. Hot spots from that left corner and right slot. 81 3 ball, 80 driving dunk, decent enough ball handle. You get a, uh, a shoe and a coach, going to be good enough. 85 speed acceleration, 86 lateral quickness, has some decent shooting badges. Do I wish it maybe was better? Maybe, but he does have silver catch and shoot, which is just fine. Finishing badges, solid enough playmaking wise. Bronze quick first step that can be upgradable. And then defensively at 6'8", the silver interceptor is super important. He's not necessarily the best badge wise card in the game, but it's not terrible. Paul George base on normal timing. We knew that was going to be a thing. Base dribble style is what it is. Pro size up. Penny Hardaway signature combo, which I think is fine. Kobe size of escape is very, very solid as well. He's solid. Cam Reddish is solid. Best card in the game. I'm not going to sit here and say that, but he is a very, very solid option, especially if you are balling on a budget. Wendell Carter Jr. up next. We're probably going to see a stretch big type of card here. 6'10", 7'3", wingspan, hot spot from that left corner. Does have a 78 three ball, 68 speed, 50 lateral quickness. He's okay. Look, I, I mean, he's okay. My question is this, right? Jump shot 62 is, is better than a lot of big men releases at this stage. My question is this, right? If you compare Wendell Carter Jr., let's just say for the sake of this video, to a Serge Ibaka. Badge-wise, they're similar. Here's the, here's the problem with Wendell Carter Jr., 
Look on the defensive end of the court. You've got a 78 interior with a 47 perimeter. Way worse rebounding stats. I think that's the problem when it comes to Wendell Carter Jr. It's not necessarily the offensive end of the court, but defensively, he is going to struggle big time. Has a decent release though, so if you want to use him as a pick and pop big, that's fine. Just have a hard time seeing him really ran unless you're really balling on a budget. Ooh, we do have an Evo Gary Harris up next. Now, the Evo isn't here yet, okay? So we don't exactly know what the Evo, uh, what the Evo is up to. But just look at the base card, 6'4", 6'6", six, six wingspan. Badge-wise already comes with 37 base badges, which is just absolutely incredible. 84 three ball, 75 driving dunk, 82 speed, 84 lateral quickness. Decent enough playmaker. So here's my thing. If his Evo gives him a better driving dunk, which I think it's going to do, and better playmaking, which I think it's probably going to do, this card could be very, very solid. Gold catch and shoot, playmaker-wise, has some decent badges, no quick first step. Like to see that with the Evo. You'd like to see him get clamps with the Evo as well. But this card is an all-around solid player. I'd like to see a little bit of a better on-ball steal tendency as well. Jump shot 70 on quick timing is so smooth. That's Karis Levert's release. Very, very smooth and, and solid right there. Base dribble style, normal size. He's not going to really be a dribble head. We know that, but I'm going to be very intrigued to see what the Evo looks like on Gary Harris. Looking at our next card here is Lou Dort, 6'3", 6'8", wingspan. No Evo in the card, and he's only 6'3". That's the first thing I want to kind of look at. Jump shot 107. I'm not sure what it looks like this year. Last year was pretty smooth. 84 three ball, 82 speed, does have the 92 lateral quickness, which is absolutely fantastic. And look at the defense. I'll say this, as far as a guard that guards opposing guards, I don't mind when they're kind of short. So that's not bad as far as just being an on-ball defender. You're at 6'3", which I don't think is bad at all to guard the likes of a guy like Allen Iverson. I think Ludoid is fantastic. I do on the defensive end of the court. Shooting-wise, has enough. Catch, shoot, corner specials. This card's going to get overlooked, but don't sleep on Lou Dort. He's going to be just fine. Dennis Schroeder up next, 6'3", 6'7", wingspan. And here's the, what I'm going to say right now. There's going to be a lot of cards that come out today. And yes, Dennis Schroeder's release is bad, but he's fast. Dennis Schroeder is 92 speed. He's 6'3", badge-wise is solid. 79, three ball is good enough. Again, super quick. Can't really dunk, but playmaking-wise is going to be absolutely incredible. We know that. Shooting-wise is fine. I guess I'm not the biggest fan of him as I initially thought I would be, but a bronze mismatch expert. The only problem I see with Dennis Schroeder is this right here, the Charles Oakley base. That release stinks. Like, I'm sorry, but that release absolutely stinks. Quick dribble style pro signature size up, penny sig combo. Got the Kobe size of escape. I mean, he's not terrible at 6'3". I just hate his release. Now, Donovan Mitchell, if he could play the point guard position, Oh my word. Like, if this dude could play the point guard position, we might be looking at our best point guard in the game. 6'1", 6'10", wingspan. Look at the badge count on Donovan Mitchell. You're looking at mid to upper 50s. 83 three ball, 93 speed acceleration, 90 lateral quickness, 90 driving dug, 93 speed ball, 88 ball handle. I do not care. He's one of the best shooting guards in the game. I don't care that he's only 6'1". Heck, play him alongside Oscar Robertson. He's just fine. Shifty dribble size of Dotto and Mitchell combo, which I'm not really exactly sure what that exactly looks like. KD size of escape. Uh, Lillard behind the back. Dude, this dude is fantastic. I do not care. I, I get it. He's 6'1", but he is going to be just fine in the game and more than usable. Josh Smith, a card I'm super excited about to run at the power forward position. See what he gives you, 74 three ball, 84 speed acceleration, 86 lateral quickness, good driving, dunk, decent enough rebounding. Obviously, playmaker, we know he's not really going to be that great at it, but look at the defense here. Hot of Fame, Pogo Stick, Chase Honest, Hustler, Rim on Gold. All the defensive badges are upgradable. Look, I get it. You can give him quick first step. Shooting-wise, he can't get anything, so that's the thing. Can you green consistently with Josh Smith? I think you will be able to with the Brook Lopez base. So look at a 3 and D guy at the power forward position. Compare him to a better Draymond Green. I think Josh Smith is that better version of Draymond Green. Dirk Nowinski up next. 7 feet 1, 7 3 wingspan. Hot spots from around the, around the world. 55 speed, 40 lateral quickness, 87 3 ball. Look, I don't care what anybody says about Dirk Nowinski. He has no defensive badges. This card cannot play. I do not care. 
This card simply can't play. I don't care what anybody says in the community. I get he's 7-1. This card cannot play. He can't. He, he, he simply cannot play. He will get you no stops at the center position, and he can't play at the power forward position. This card stinks. I'm sorry. One of the worst diamonds in all of 2K. Kobe up next. I'm just going to tell you guys this right now. I have high, high hopes for this Kobe Bryant card. I think he could be one of the best in all of 2K. 6'6", 6'11", wingspan, 83 three ball, 85 driving dunk, can handle the ball, 88 speed acceleration, 86 lateral quickness, Hall of Fame dead eye volume shooter, fearless finisher. Where's his catch and shoot? Do they not give him catch and shoot? Where is it at? I know he's got it. How am I missing his catch and shoot? Okay, there it is, the gold catch and shoot. I was going to say, if he doesn't have catch and shoot, that's going to bother me. Quick first step that can be upgradable. All of his playmaking badges are upgradable. Bronze or silver clamps. None of these defensive badges can be upgradable, but those are just fine. Gold Intimidator is a big badge as well. This Kobe Bryant card is absolutely fantastic, especially if you fully badge him. You're looking at probably the best shooting guard in all of 2K right here. As far as the complete shooting guard, yes, we got guys like Dale Ellis is a pure sharp. But it's guys that are two-way guys that can do it all. Kobe Bryant's him. Kobe Bryant's him. Jokic up next at the center position, 6'11", 7'3", wingspan, 84, 3 ball, 75, driving dunk, can play make a little bit, speed at a 67, acceleration 67, the problem with Jokic is similar to Dirk, right, he's not defending in, in on the interior, right, you come up against a guy like Dikembe, a guy like Will, he is going to get baby, but on the flip side, he is a stretch big, has good shooting badges, playmaker wise, I feel like there's some wasted Hall of Fame badges, I feel like... He's very similar to Dirk. He's just a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. Still would not recommend using Jokic. He's going to have a little better release. I understand that. But until we see guys that can defend on the interior, I'm not a big Jokic fan. I get it. He's a pick and pop center, similar to Dirk, if that's what you need. But I don't think that's the meta in 2K right now. Vince Carter up next. This guy might give uh, might give Kobe Bryant all, all he's worth as far as who's the best shooting guard in the game. 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, weeks man. Hot spots from both quarters. Six Hall of Famers. 15 on gold, 22 on silver, 5 on bronze, 87 3 ball, 95 driving duck, 85 support, 83 ball handling, 89 speed acceleration, 83 lateral quickness. Here's the thing for Vince, a lot of his Hall of Fame badges are in the finishing kind of category, which is just fine. Shooting-wise, Hall of Fame volume shooter has a lot of good shooting badges through and through, though. Playmaker-wise, just fine, quick first step that's upgradable. Here's the big thing for Vince Carter. You can give him any defensive badge that you want to. So if you want to give him Clamps, Interceptor, Intimidator, you can give him those badges, which is super, super important. I think between Kobe and Vince, Kobe might be a little better on the defensive end. Vince might be a little better offensively. Don't expect Vince to dribble that much. I mean, I know he has the Kobe sides of escape, but he does have the slasher dribble style. Just not necessarily sure on Vince. I know his release is easy to time, easy to green, just not the quickest. Throw Vince right in there with Kobe. I think you're looking at the top two shooting guards in the game. Kareem up next, and I already know Kareem is going to be the best center in the game. I'm saying it right now as we speak. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the best center in all of 2K. 31 three ball, I get it. But here's the thing about Kareem. 85 driving dunk, 90 standing dunk. That's crazy, right? You look at it, 69 speed, 69 acceleration with a 69 lateral quickness and a 90 interior, 89 strength, 95 stamina, great rebounder, Hall of Fame intimidator and rim protector. You're looking at the best center in the game. I do not care. You can compare him and say Dikembe is better, that's fine. Give me Kareem over any center in the game. Will Dikembe, give me Kareem. Am I biased because I've always liked Kareem more? Probably, and that's just natural, but I'm telling you guys right now, you're looking at the best set inside center in the game, gold catch and shoot, so he's going to be able to knock down mid-range jumpers pretty well. I'm telling you, do not sleep on Kareem. Probably the best center, definitely the best inside center in the game. Oscar, last but not least, 6'5", six, 6'8", six, wingspan. He does have an Oscar Robertson base on normal timing, which I think is very interesting. 85 three ball, 75 driving duck, 87 speed ball, 92 ball handle, 87 speed acceleration, 85 lateral quickness, only a 65 interior. Here's the thing though, he can dunk, has some good finishing badges, shooting wise is just fine. Play wise, Hall of Fame, Dimer, Floor General, and defensively he's solid. Do I think Oscar is the best point guard in the game? Depends on your play style. For me, he would be the best point guard in the game, I have a feeling. Dame behind the back, Kyrie moving crossover. Depends what these dribble sigs are like as well, right? We don't know exactly what they're going to be like. Rim grazers off of one is just fine. 
He's going to be solid, okay? I think Oscar is going to be solid, especially with his dunk package. Do I think he's the best point guard in the game for a guy like me? Yes, especially considering he can get all these badges that you might want to give him. Got to realize, though, Oscar can't get clamps. He can't get Intimidator. You have to apply Quick First Step to him. Have to apply Sniper to him. So by no means is he com is he a complete player as you get him. Yes, you can put those five badges on him to make him pretty solid. Is he worth getting? The answer to that question is absolutely not. Oscar is not going to be that much better than this guy right here. Is Oscar better than Walt? A little bit, but it's not by much. Give me Walt Frazier for his price over Oscar Robertson every day of the week. But that is going to wrap it up for our Dunktober set. I think the guys I'm personally most excited about, Kareem, Vince, Kobe. After those three, there's a massive drop off. And then you got guys like probably Oscar, throw Oscar with the Vincent Kobe's. We got guys like Jokic, Dirk, they're okay. Josh Miss, a good budget card. Lou Dort's a good budget card. Gary Harris is very intriguing. Cam Reddish is absolutely fantastic. And this Isaiah Ryder card is fantastic as well. So this content drop, 2K must have needed some money because this is absolutely fantastic. That is going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.